hundred feet away. This is literally happening right outside my window. Living in straight up fear. What, what are you gonna do with a diaper bag? People think it's like this amazing city and they all wanna move here. Sirens and helicopters. Why am I here? Why am I here? Trash, 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 trash. Even consider selling my car. Rent, you guys? It's like we were paying Oh, here we go. Not me already having coffee, but still getting Starbucks. Hi guys, I didn't wanna make this video until we were moved out and settled into our new apartment and new location. So let me backtrack a little bit. My sister and I have lived in Vegas for 13, 14 years, and we've always wanted to move to LA. I mainly wanted to move to LA for work purposes, but I briefly mentioned this in my empty apartment tour, after covid i thought oc orange county would be a much better idea because i was hearing a lot of things about la safety issues trash just la not being the la we know anymore and so i kind of got turned off from living in la i just didn't see the hype about it anymore especially after visiting a few times but my sister still really really wanted to move to la so that was actually a reason why it took us so long to move because i wanted oc my sister wanted la and we just weren't agreeing on an apartment and that's the thing that a lot of people don't realize the really nice areas in la is just a small area of los angeles like the rest of it really is trash and just dirty a lot of places are dirty especially after covid it's just gotten worse and worse so i told myself if i move to orange county that's only a 45 minute drive from la i don't need to be in la for work purposes more than once a week or so and you guys know how bad la traffic is so even though going from oc to la is a longer distance i'm still spending the same amount of time going from location to location fast forward a year later we found this apartment in la prime location you guys right in hancock park just a mile away from Melrose, really close to Beverly Hills. When you look out your window, you actually see greenery, not homeless people or trash like a lot of LA locations are. Regardless of everyone, including our family, telling us not to move to LA and to do Orange County instead, we still were thinking, you know what, this apartment is in a really prime location. We've always wanted to experience the LA life and it's in a really safe area. And so we thought. A couple weeks into us moving in, my sister finds out about the Citizens app where it pretty much tells you any crimes happening in your area. And I kid you not, you guys, there were at least five to seven crimes happening every single day. And these crimes weren't like five miles away, 10 miles away. They were all within a mile of where we were living. I remember waking up at 2 a.m. one day with a notification that said, person held at gunpoint 200 feet away. 200 feet away this is literally happening right outside my window there was also another incident right in hancock park this happened literally where we would take walks it was during daytime too this mom was walking her baby and they stole her diaper bag what, what are you gonna do with a diaper bag? But I would say I went through like a week of paranoia. My best friend is an LA local and she was trying to get me out of this mindset and it did help for a little bit. You know, I told myself I'm not gonna sit here and lock myself up. Mind you, rent was not cheap. Rent, you guys? It's like we were paying like $4,100 a month off of a little apartment, but we were locked in our house, not going anywhere. Like the whole point of moving to LA was to explore, walk around, feel all the vibes. No, we were literally not leaving our apartment. I will admit my sister was much worse than me. I would at least like go on a hike. That's all I did. Actually, that's literally all I did in the two months that I was there. I went on a hike twice with my best friend who lives in LA and I was just like a bum. One of it was in Malibu. And then any other time I would go somewhere, it was literally an OC. So I was just sitting there and I'm like, why am I here? Why am I here? Especially because the whole work opportunities aspect of it, a lot of things after COVID is just being done online. Like even when it came to acting, you used to have to go into the room and audition in front of people, which I still haven't experienced by the way, because I started getting into acting when COVID hit, but now it's like acting has transitioned into virtual auditions and self tapes. I remember after finding out about all the crimes going on, I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna let this paranoia get to me. I'm gonna walk outside, explore. I just have to be aware and watch my surroundings. I kid you not, I took a walk outside. You guys should have seen how I was dressed. 
I had like a hoodie on, baggy sweats, didn't carry anything valuable with me. I was literally mean mugging every person that passed by me. It was actually hilarious. I will admit though, my paranoia was not nearly as bad as my sister. <laughs> it was actually really funny now that I think about it. My sister, you guys, when I tell you she was paranoid, oh my god she actually made a separate video about this so i'll insert that here talking about her experience but she would not leave the apartment she literally had this corner in the apartment and she would not move from it the blinds had to stay closed she would not even open the blinds she wouldn't even go down to use the amenities like she was just living in straight up fear which i understand honestly because like i said there was at least five to seven crimes a day every couple hours you would hear sirens and helicopters i think the news mentioned la is now the purge like don't move to la something like that which i tried not paying too much attention to after a couple weeks i personally ended up deleting that citizens app trying to stay positive my sister did everything in her power to get us out of the lease and thankfully after a month it actually worked new tenants ended up moving in and she ended up getting an anxiety letter from the doctor because her anxiety was so bad so that also played a role in helping us move out with no penalty fees another thing that made me feel really unsafe is anyone could walk into our apartment complex like the front door was never locked they had a security guard like walking around the building after 6 p.m but it was just one security guard like he could be chilling in the conference center and someone can just walk right in and when you walk in there was a staircase on the left and it led straight to our apartment excuse my nail our apartment was literally the first door as soon as you exit that staircase. I knew there was a lot of crimes and things going on in LA, but I just didn't expect all the crimes to be in the area we lived in because it was such a nice area. And all these robberies and crimes were happening around the time that we moved in. So it was just not the right timing either. Also, the worst feeling is not being settled in. I just hated having half my stuff in boxes, not knowing whether we're staying or leaving. You know, we put our 30 day notice in. They pretty much said, we're gonna put your apartment on the market, but it's not guaranteed that you're gonna move out. And if you do move out, we don't know when. So I literally had half my stuff in boxes, like my mattress was still on the floor. It was just the worst feeling not being settled in and just like not knowing what you're gonna do in the next week like are we moving out are we staying in now was I surprised that this happened no was it a hassle moving all our things just to move again in a couple months yes was I pretty irritated because this could have all been avoided if we had just done the right thing and moved to OC in the first place yes do I feel much happier and safer in Orange County, 100%. So honestly, it's fine. It was a learning experience. That's all that matters. Like Orange County is so beautiful, so clean. Driving here is a million times better. I'm so happy that I'm here. I honestly love it more than I expected. And the apartment that we moved to in the year that we were searching for apartments, this specific apartment we always came back to we literally would come back to this apartment every time we would go apartment hunting and we never found anything as beautiful as this complex and i'm so happy we ended up choosing this and we moved into a brand new apartment they had just got done building this complex and we're the first tenants to be living in here and not only is this apartment so much nicer it's bigger but it's also cheaper than the apartment we were living in in LA. Like we were literally paying higher rent just to be locked into our apartment and not even explore LA. Our amenities, you guys, let me insert some clips of the amenities in LA. Like the gym in LA, for example, was so tiny. The one in our complex here is literally like 20 times as large. All the amenities are so much larger, so much nicer. It's like, it just didn't make sense for us to be in LA. In my own experience, I just feel like LA is a great place to visit, but not a great place to live. It's like when you think of visiting LA, it's like, ooh, vibes, you know? But then when you actually live there, it's like trash. I'll still be visiting LA for work purposes every now and then, so it's not like I'm never going there again. I just wouldn't live there again. And you guys saw how excited I was to move, but I honestly was mainly excited about moving out for the first time more than the location I was moving to, you know what I mean? Like I wanted a new space to shoot content in. Shoot content where? We literally weren't going anywhere. So that didn't work out. But after we actually moved and I was settled in, I was kind of like, oh, that's it. 
it wasn't as exciting versus me being in Orange County right now. I'm actually so happy to be here, so excited, so motivated. Like I'm actually really excited about where I moved to, not just the fact that I moved, if that makes sense. And I really tried to be optimistic and try to love LA, but honestly, it just wasn't for me. Now, this is just my personal experience. My best friend, for example, lives in LA and she loves it there, but everyone else I know hates it. Like even in Orange County, you talk to anyone here, they even say LA is not it. Like it's not the place to live. People think it's like this amazing city and they all want to move here, but when you're actually living there, it's nothing like you expect. I'm just really thankful and happy that we ended up here and I am vlogging our move once again so I will have that vlog up soon but yeah after experiencing LA I honestly don't see what all the hype is about. One is obviously the crimes and the safety issues. Two is how dirty it is. Oh my god everywhere you look it's like trash 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 the driving is horrible i didn't even drive in la you guys i would just uber or lyft whenever i would need to leave the house i left my car in vegas so i'm obviously gonna bring it to oc now that i'm here but i even considered selling my car because i just did not want to drive parking was horrible the roads were just so narrow i would just have anxiety every time i would be driving anyways i'm just glad that my sister and i are safe and nothing directly happened to us it was just crimes happening all around us but thankfully we weren't directly affected by them and I'm really excited for this new chapter I'm really excited to be an OC and all the content that I'm gonna be shooting for you guys this really is where I'm meant to be and where I'm meant to live I just wanted to get on here and explain this to you guys because all the content I'm gonna be shooting now is gonna be in a different setting a different location and I wanted to let you guys know what has been going on but that is it for today's video I do upload a video every week so be sure you are subscribed and I will see you next time bye